Well, this is my third year at Site Congress, and one of the things that I'm seeing is there's a, an increasing diversification of the topics that we have here at Site Congress. Uh, one of the things that's happening in general in psychiatry, I think, is that there is um, perhaps a greater emphasis on a diversity of areas of treatment in, in psychiatry. For a while, we had a lot of uh, focus on psychopharmacology, which we continue to have a substantial amount of content about psychopharmacology, but we're also including more information about psychotherapy and other kinds of non-medication treatments uh, as we're, we're really seeking to try and treat uh, people in a more holistic fashion. And so that's the, the, the trend I'm seeing is, is for, uh, that while we still have a considerable amount of psychopharmacology content, and one could certainly spend most of their time here at Psych Congress learning about psychopharmacology if that was your interest, there's also opportunities to learn about other uh, areas of mental health treatment uh, and, and wellness as well, which is the other emphasis. We're, we're kind of shifting away uh, from thinking about ourselves treating illnesses and thinking more towards how do we promote wellness in our patients. Uh, one of the nice things about Site Congress is there's a variety of experiences one can have here. Of course, uh, it, it, we have the conventional didactic sessions where you'll be able to hear uh, really cutting edge information from some of the leading experts in the psychiatric field from around the country. Uh, but the other opportunities that present themselves here are things like interacting with our colleagues. You know, and this often, often happens informally, just in the halls and in the, in the exhibit hall. Uh, and, and from those experiences, uh, I often find some of the most fascinating information from my pa f uh, for my patients, but about my uh, that I can use to inform my practice. Just it, it's it's fantastic to network with with colleagues and learn how people are doing things in other parts of the country. And then of course there's the exhibit hall, which allows you the opportunity to to interface with people who are in the industry and and learn sort of what's uh, what's new and what's coming up next. Well, if you've never attended Site Congress, come and check it out. I think uh, this is the kind of meeting that has appeal to uh, a lot of different types of clinicians. So, for example, I'm a nurse. I'm a, I'm a nurse practitioner. Uh, I'm seeing more and more of my nursing colleagues here at Site Congress, which is exciting to me. Uh, people who are at earlier stages in their career, people who are at later stages in their career. I think everyone has something that they can bring to this conference and learn at this conference. Uh, particularly for people who are newer in their careers, I, I think we've all had that experience where we get out of our program and there's this expectation that we know everything we need to know, of course, and, and we don't, and we all know that. We all struggle with those, those areas that, that perhaps we wish we knew more about. And one of the things that I like about Psych Congress is that I can target the, 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 the areas that I want to, that I want to increase my knowledge on by the sessions that I go to. Because there's multiple sessions happening uh, simultaneously, you have this sort of menu of options, if you will, that allow you to, uh, to increase your knowledge in areas that perhaps you want to know more about. Perhaps you want to, perhaps you work in psychiatry, but you want to know more about uh, pain management and how our pain management colleagues are, are treating uh, pa our same patients or our patients that we're seeing for psychiatric reasons, how they're treating those folks for pain. I was just in a session with a, a pain management uh, physician and learning about how opiates are, are prescribed and some of the concerns that are present with that population. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to sort of cross-pollinate, if you will, uh, with different specialties and with people doing different specialties within psychiatry. So that, that, that is just such a rich opportunity for learning here. Yeah, so I, I would encourage my nurse practitioner colleagues to come to Psych Congress for a number of reasons. Uh, one of which is that we have very high quality education here. Uh, I, I always leave this conference having learned something and having uh, sort of a, a, a mental to-do list of articles that I want to look up, speakers that I want to learn more about, things that I want to read 
to better improve my, my practice. The other thing that I like about this meeting is it's very collegial. Uh, really, all members of the mental health treatment team are meeting on a level playing field here. There's a very collegial atmosphere here. Uh, we've eliminated the, the titles from name tags to, to make it so that people interact uh, on a person-to-person on a, on a -person basis rather than defining themselves by their professional role. And so uh, you'll be sitting in, in sessions with uh, fellow nurse practitioners, with physicians, with psychologists, with other people who are on the mental health team. And it really, uh, it, it kind of facilitates that, that cross-pollinization, that sharing of ideas uh, here at, at Psych Congress. And that's, that's why I think my uh, nurse practitioner colleagues would, would get a lot out of coming to this meeting. Okay, so uh, I, I went to a fascinating session. It's, it, it's really more about an experimental uh, process that's going on right now. This is not something that's, that's approved for treatment yet, uh, but um, Michael and Anne Midhofer, who are researchers in South Carolina, are doing some really fascinating and groundbreaking work on the use of the uh, investigational drug MDMA for the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. And what they're finding is, is that they're having these robust results in patients who are given this medication uh, as a part of a, uh, a brief but intensive psychotherapeutic process. And what's fantastic about it is unlike a medication that might uh, only work when the patient is, is taking it, the outcomes that they're having from this study are, uh, are enduring and they're finding that people are staying free of post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms for uh, not just a, a few days after the treatment but for even months and years after they've had this treatment. And so in a, in a field where we have a, a, a limited amount of treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder and an increasing demand on our psychiatric system, uh, unfortunately because of the, the wars that we've been involved in for the last uh, 10 years, we have a lot of need, uh, particularly in the, within people who work with veterans for newer and better treatments for PTSD. This was some really exciting research and it's, it may be a long way off on the horizon before we get, before there's enough data to support an approval for this treatment, but just to, to be at that very early stage of this cutting edge research was really exciting to see. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the things that's interesting about being on the steering committee here is that I, I'm not just another attendee, I'm also part of the, the group of people who are planning it. And so I, I'm approached all the time in the hallways while I'm you know, waiting to get a refreshment. So people will come up and tell me that they, they really like the conference or there's something that might like to change. And I think that's great. I think all of us who are on the steering committee, we're all giving talks, we're all uh, milling around in the halls with the rest of the attendees, and we're accessible. And not only are we accessible, we really welcome and enjoy the feedback that we get from uh, our attendees. It, it helps us when we, we meet after this, this conference is over in order to plan the next one. And we really take all that information that we got, the feedback that we get, from attendees and use it to shape the next conference because we don't want this to be a cookie cutter replacement each time the conference is the same. We want this to be a dynamic, exciting conference that people come to and feel like they're going to learn new things each year. That's really important to us. So we, we, we value the feedback. Not only do, are we interested in hearing it, but we are, we are uh, dedicated to integrating that feedback to the degree that we can into the planning of next year's conference. So with that, it's my hope that I will get to uh, see many of you again who I've met here at, at, at Psych Congress, but also uh, new colleagues who come uh, next year in September to Las Vegas. So I hope to see you there.